U.S. general calls on the U.S. authorities to take risks for the sake of Ukraine. In the United States, some people believe that the country is not providing enough assistance to Ukraine in the fight against Russia and are calling for increased support for Kyiv. According to retired American Brigadier General Mark Kimmett, who once worked as Assistant Secretary of State of the United States, the country's authorities need to risk their military reserves without fear and send them to Ukraine. The general's words are quoted by the American publication Politico. Kimmett notes that the Pentagon generally considers support for Ukraine at the current level acceptable given the risks of reducing its strategic reserves. However, the time has come to take greater risks to prevent a potential defeat for Ukraine, the former advisor to the U.S. Secretary of State is sure. The general added that a fairly large number of weapons, which are stockpiled around the world in case of any emergencies or exercises, could be sent to Ukraine. According to Kimmett, Kyiv does not receive enough military assistance and it needs to be increased, which requires large financial costs. Winning wars is expensive, but not as expensive as losing them, said the former Brigadier General. According to him, failure in Ukraine could encourage the very war US soldiers in places like Korea stand ready to fight. Adversaries such as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un takes note of US hesitancy to back friends and allies. So does China as it peers across the Taiwan Strait. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky needs more ammunition and commanders like La Camara should see the consequences to their own missions should Ukraine fall to Russia, even if the cost comes out of their inventories. Overall, U.S. Army officials note that the current risk in supporting Ukraine is manageable, but it's time to take a bit more risk and dip further into those stockpiles to stave off potential defeat. Winning wars is expensive, but not nearly as expensive as losing them. Наверное, да, у нас до нефти, это сколько это вообще? Охуеть. 